Okay, I'm guessing that I'm live. Hey, my awesome one. What's going on? Let's shut the sound from somewhere. Uh, if you haven't listened to yesterday's live, we are starting to have some music in the background in the videos from now on just because it's fun. Okay. So, let's see. What should I start with? This is a video for Brand Your Awesomeness, for Brand Your Awesomeness group and people who join the group and people who are up for the challenge. Challenge without the name. Basically, it's a three day challenge where you get to get clear on your unique visual story of your brand. So then, this can help you make it visible in all of your brand and make it word have a con have consistency in your brand right in your visuals anyone who's here say hey actually i have to go to my page to actually see when see some comments so i will be posting those videos on my business page and i just uh, realized someone told me there is a button it gives you the option to get notif notified when ArtM, which is my business page, when ArtM goes live. So if you want to be on the live calls and actually get to see your comments and respond and so on, to interact with each other, I suggest you do that. There's a button. It's either at when the video ends or there should be like in a top right corner. And an arrow with a drop down menu and it says turn on live notification so this is for the people because people have told me like i missed your live and so on okay what else okay getting to the group i do want to thank all the new members we are already at 20 members guys so this is so awesome honestly and I will just mention you when there will be there will be too many people I will probably not mention all of them but for now I want to say thanks you guys like the people that I uh, that I already know which are Miche, Monica, Abby and Zaza and to all the others that I don't know but I do want to get to connect with you guys which are, let's go, Maxine, Tessie, Simona, Simona, by the way, I saw you are from Romania, Yash, I'm from Romania too, um, did I say Tessie, Michelle, Tanisha, Tilly, Vicky, Cecilia, Janine, Orit, Orit, sorry guys, if I mispronounce your name, Maya, Marsha, Stefan, and David. So welcome to all of you in the group and I would love for you to tell me, say hi and tell me why have you decided to join the group, what do you expect to get out of it, actually I mentioned this in the pin post, even if you don't want to connect with the other people it's okay but it will be super helpful for me to know why you are here. Um, and I'm just giving you a heads up, I will friend you, so just you know you will get a friend request from me, people that are in the group. Okay, I will get to the description, I don't stress about the description of the group because there won't be too many rules, like, it's about me helping you as much as I can, um, guiding you through guiding you to having a kick-ass visual identity for your business and so as Micha asked go for it if you have any kind of questions if you want suggestions from me tips whatever on your specific thing go for it when we when I will have more of those I will probably we will have probably a session with just on those things whatever we'll see how it goes this is a thing, this is kind of a, this group is a beta, beta test for a membership site, so um, I want to, I really want to know if I can give a lot of value to people 
just giving them information because I'm used to giving them the actual designs. So whenever you feel that my information is helping you, if you would say, yeah, that's awesome, that helped me, it's um, What can I see comments? Okay. No, I'm on RM. I will share at the end the video and the group. But again, if you want to be live, please do go check the button with turn on live notifications. Um, what else? So I guess I'm going to the actual subject of today, which is for those of you who are not yet in the group, do join if you're interested in leveling up your, your brand, your, your image, right? Uh, we are having a challenge right now. And this is day two of the challenge. It's more about business. And I've seen people, if you're in the group, I'm guessing that you want to take the challenge. So I strongly advise in actually going to the link the questionnaire that I have prepared for you and to answer those questions and that's why I don't want to talk too much about it because people haven't answered it yet and I don't want to influence your answers I will talk about how I interpret the responses in the questionnaires after we finish them I thought it was a comment, sorry guys. Um, okay, so do go to day one and do the questionnaire. And this I will be posting in the group, Brand Your Awesomeness, the link to question number two, which is about business. And it's the most important one. If you're up for the challenge, I actually fill in the, the questionnaire. Um, Kind of what I have to say for today for the challenge form. Now I got a question from Miche. So she asked if um, I can give some tips, some suggestions on. Yay! I got a love. <laughs> Guys, give me some love. <laughs> I need it right now. Okay. If anything that I say is helpful for you, give me a love and share it with others and tell others that you know are interested in branding to get in the group. Make some awesome shit together, guys. Okay, so... I don't even know how to do this. Like, I want to comment just a bit on Miche's image she gave me an image about so um, a graphic that she made for her business she bent spoon for those of you who do not know and this is especially for Miche I, I may also write it's easier for me to give you some indications while talking and not writing them down but if you actually want to I can also do that um, but talking about this graphic will also help the others, even if you don't have it right now and don't see what it's all about, by the way, you can find it in the group. I can actually give a link to the, to the image so you will see what I'm talking about. The first thing that I see in most graphics is the fact that they don't have consistency because they don't actually have a visual identity. So that's the issue. It's not about just having some graphics here and there and making an ad, making a, I don't know what, write a banner for Facebook or whatever you may think of. It's about having a flow, so consistency in different elements, first of all, and then having a flow in just one piece because how I look now at uh, Mitch's graphics so she has a part with some spoons right then it comes another part with a 
was that a sky thing and then something about her honestly how it's um, organized right now it doesn't have any kind of flow the three sections seems to seem to be completely different they don't seem to be in the same in the same thing right then this is kind of the main issue which you which you will will solve if you hang out in this group this is exactly what we want to get after this challenge you you will get clear on the uniqueness that you have in your business that you are actually able to illustrate and by having this this story because we're putting it in a story you will be able to choose some colors that will dominate in your in your brand right and then you can also use some other colors that go with it then you need you will have a style and I'm not talking about using the same font all the time yeah you can do that but sometimes you can just have another campaign another program or something and you want to use something different because it's boring to use all all the time the same things and you can do that but keep the the feeling that it gives you like if you have a style keep the same style so it's consistency in style and consistency in feeling not so much in using exactly the same thing all the time and then I'm just checking to see if I have some comments. Say hi if you are on. I keep rambling here. Like say hi if you are on. Again, if you want to get notified when the live streams are on, uh, check the turn on live notifications on ArtM. You can find my business page at unique ArtM. One word. Okay, then, Miche, so this is the major issue, and this will be so much easier in the future when you want to, this is the thing, when you have a story in your brand, when you get clear on that, on the style and on the feeling that your visuals give to people, it's going to be so much easier to do a graphic for just a banner or something an ad because you will already have so much information you won't start from zero from scratch right and now for Miche's uh, image I do not know what to tell you right now in thinking of the the brand the whole brand and the whole image but I can still, and that's the most important, right? But I can still give you some some quick tips on this specific image. First of all, I want to say I've seen just the Facebook one. And my first thought was it's a bit too crowded. Like, you have those arrows. If you have arrows, I'm guessing you put them there to guide the viewer to see... To have a flow to know where I have to look next. I don't. It's too much information. Uh, that's written kind of in the same way. I don't know where to look. Like, my attention is everywhere. I can see the click here and the like. That those are the most obvious, obviously. But it's not super clear. Although... I do like the design, meaning that how you have the spoon bending thing, like having the spoons 3D, like a photo, right, as you have them right now, and then just having some kind of drawings, like even having the writing as more of a handwritten thing, or from here and there, just the handwritten, it, it's like you would photograph the spoons and you're writing on it kind of thing so I do like the idea 
that you have going on there with the spoons 3D and the drawings uh, all over the place, right? Like, I, uh, I like how they go together, but again, if you could just make them more clear on what the viewer has to see, where do they have to look first, where do they have to look second, and so on. Because now it's a bit all over the place. Now, the bottom part, um, th they don't go together, all three of them. I don't think they go together, right? And so, as I like the first part, the first section, by the way, that white, if it would be more white, it's a bit too dark. Just the overall image. I don't know what kind of program do you use for the editing. If you can brighten it up just a bit. Um, the two parts underneath. I would definitely, if you actually want to use them. I would go, I could include those two parts. So, join the next webinar, live, or watch the replay, whatever. So, whatever you say there, join the webinar. You can put it like that's kind of the main title, right? Because that's what you want the graphic to do. That's the purpose of the, the, uh, the graphic. Join the next webinar. So, that's actually a good position where you have it right now. It's kind of... At a third, like proportional wise, it's a really good place for the title. Uh, but honestly, I would just go, I would personally go with the drawing style that you have. Oh my god, I don't know. I will put some images of some things that I have in, in my head because I don't know if it makes sense if I explain it. It's kind of like... Put the text on a black background, or you can do a color, but I would suggest like go with the it's kind of like a scribble thing, and just the letters to be white, if that makes sense. They will so they will blend in the, the graphic, the the overall idea, and then again, it will stand out. And a little bit about yourself. I would use, for example, a photo of you, so go again, it's kind of like all the drawing is a paper, and you have your spoons, then it's the section where you say, join the next webinar, and underneath, who is Miche? And you put a photo of you, like a square photo or something, and you, it's like a, uh, a pin, right? And then you can write all the things that you have written down there, right? And so, it would have such a nice flow, all of it. Now, those are my suggestions, my ideas on what you can do. Again, I like your idea with drawing. Um, I hope this is helpful. If helpful not only for me, all that I just said here, please do share with me if anything that I just said is helpful. Give me a love, share the video, tell people to come in the group, people who you think would benefit from all the information and from this uh, this challenge. They may be people that want to do not are not ready to invest in branding design yet, but they they want it, they need it, and they can use those tips to improve what they already have or to start from the from scratch. Or they can even use this information with their own graphic designer. Or even if you are a graphic designer or you know graphic designers who would benefit the community, maybe they would get out of my something out of my tips, or maybe they can give, they can share value with us, the whole community. Um, I will just check the comments again if there's anyone there. Okay, if you want to get on the live streams, do not forget to turn on the notifications for RM. You can find my business page. If you go on my profile and see where I work, or 
to look for unique item. That's kind of it. Welcome to all of you guys that are in the group. Who, for those of you who are not yet there, go there. Um, if you don't feel like you're awesome enough yet, go to the How to Be Awesome group. And gratitude. Just want to finish with my gratitude video. My my gratitude. Um, just forget this word. Not exercise practice. My gratitude practice. Today I'm super grateful for this video because I really think that uh, it was more valuable than I thought. I didn't know exactly what I was going to say at the beginning, like I knew I had some points, whatever. But um, I think I came up with some good ideas for me just for the graphic, honestly. Uh, I'm grateful for helping my mom out and Omar on the graphics because I'm working on Omar's thing. Like, we are rebranding everything and I am super grateful for this awesome weather outside like it's cloudy and it's not too warm not too cold it's like the perfect weather I love this I am so grateful for all of you guys in the group like already 20 members like I'm so happy honestly um I don't want to bore you too much so I will just wrap it up Okay, you guys, do go uh, in how to be awesome, at, uh, there will be the link to the questionnaire, do the second questionnaire, tomorrow I'm doing the live stream on the group how to be awesome, and the day after that, we're gonna get to day three of the challenge and the third questionnaire, right? And then we'll have some bonus days, I won't, I won't say what. But uh, I'm gonna help you interpret the answers and what to do with them. Okay, that's definitely it. Don't forget, guys, today is a great day to be awesome, so do that. Bye.